Uh, let's answer the first question. What is peer assisted learning? And here is the definition. <laughs> peer assisted learning activities encompass people from similar social uh, groupings or academic programs who are not professional teachers, helping each other to learn and learning themselves by teaching. So if you see, there are four points here. So the peer assisted learning program, the people who are involved in this are from the same or similar group. Maybe all medical students or maybe medical and dental students or medical or, or nursing students. So either it's the same program or similar program. So that's the one point uh, in definition. Number two, the people involved in this program are not professional teachers. This is for students, not for teachers. Uh, although teachers can help in this, but primarily this is a program for students. And third uh, point is that the people who are involved in this program, they are willing to help each other. So this is something which is the, the participants uh, join voluntarily, it's not forced. They are willing to help each other. And number four, the participants believe that they can learn uh, by teaching. So four points in the definition which make the basis of peer assisted learning program. Number one, the same or similar academic program. Number two, for students, not for teachers. Number three is the volunteers people who really want to participate in each other and people who believe that by teaching others, uh, uh, they can learn themselves. So this is first part and uh, I think uh, a good definition of peer assisted learning program. Now, the second point here is that uh, peer assisted learning program is a well accepted uh, educational method. So uh, around the globe, uh, peer assisted learning has been accepted as one of the uh, educational method or teaching methods like, like for example, uh, other interactive sessions or, or practical sessions, and it's being utilized. And of course, uh, it involves a process of socialization. If, for example, it, it involves senior and junior students or, or students of the same uh, class, and uh, so it's uh, uh, based on the socialization uh, among the participants, whether they are coming uh, from different programs or, or, or the same program. And so the next thing is that the role of uh, tutors and tutees is not fixed. Somebody who is tutor at one uh, occasion can be a tutee in, in the other uh, 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 situation. So a tutor is not going to be tutor all the time and tutee is not going to be tutee all the time. They can actually switch the roles and in this way uh, they can help uh, each other. Uh, there are two, uh, we can say two uh, subclasses or groups. One is a reciprocal which means that the students from the same cohort, uh, let's say both year four students and year five students. And um, so this is called direct peer to peer. And another is that rear peer where senior students are tutoring uh, the, the junior students. Um, I think somebody needs to mute. Uh, it's, some background sound is coming. Uh, can everybody mute yourself, please? Right. So there, as I said, two approaches, uh, direct peer to peer, which is the students from the same uh, uh, cohort, same class. And other is uh, near peer, where uh, students from two different classes, maybe senior and junior, maybe year four and uh, year three or year five and year three. 
through the contribution of students' varied experiences and the use of shared resources, students learn with and from each other. Now, this, this is important because um, when we as a teacher are teaching students, every student has a different experience and different way of understanding, and maybe the uh, uh, understanding is different. So the tutors and tutees would share their experiences and this would help to, to learn. Uh, and the, how they learn with each other is that tutor and tutees exchange their views and experiences. And, and uh, if, for example, there is something which uh, uh, both tutors and tutees don't know, so they can search for the answer together as a team. So this is what is meant uh, for that uh, meant uh, for that students learn with and from each other. With means that they both uh, work together to to learn, and then of course they learn from uh, each other as well. So that was the answering the first question that what is uh, peer assisted learning. Uh, 